Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, our channel is here to assist Sanditon fans in preparing for the second episode of Season 3. We got to see a lot of new characters and plots in the first episode of the new season, which we're sure everyone enjoyed. Rayleigh Price and the Montrose family arrived at our location, but Lockhart, who is now after Georgiana's inheritance, and Ralph, Charlotte's soon-to-be husband, returned as well. It's not hard to guess what will happen in the second episode to certain plot threads, but it's also hard to predict what Charlotte will do with her future. Fortunately, we are not required to guess. PBS has released a complete scene and a brand new trailer for Sanditon Season 3 Episode 2. Therefore, let's take a collective look at them to see what might transpire in the subsequent episode. Georgiana can be seen composing a letter in the Episode 2 preview. It is unknown to whom she is writing, but we speculate that it may be about her mother or her inheritance dispute with Lockhart. She talks to Charlotte in the next scene. He talks about how she would lose her place in society if she lost her inheritance. Arthur is also seen reading a letter with a worried expression and stating that it is terrible news. Since Arthur has always assisted Tom Parker, we can only assume that this has something to do with Georgiana's inheritance or with Tom Parker's business. He's worried because it's possible that Antigua has brought bad news. The next trailer scene is more lighthearted and introduces Sanditon, a new character. Leo shows a toy sword to a man who turns around. Because we saw him multiple times in the official trailers for the upcoming season, we already know who this character is. Samuel is the brother of Alexander and a lawyer. How likely are things? You can deduce the plot's direction. One shows up in Sanditon just as Georgiana is looking for a lawyer. Leo inquires about his identity. He responds, No, I know you. The Colborn brothers have not been seen together in some time. We will discover. The beginnings of Edward and Augusta's relationship are also evident. However, that appears tricky. We should endure this because the writers are making us suffer. As he seems to be writing something to give to Augusta, Edward is now a poet. She asks, Thank God our girl is smart. If Edward thinks she's stupid, she doesn't buy the idea that Edward is trying to deceive her by playing the romantic guy. He is attempting precisely that. We hope she is cautious as she is his next target. Finally, there is a brief glimpse of Alexander and Charlotte in the trailer. We see Charlotte saying that Georgiana needs her to Lady Susan. However, Lady Susan wants to ensure that she stays in Sanditon solely for the benefit of Georgiana and not to be close to Alexander because returning to her hometown will result in her marriage. The wedding will be postponed if she stays. Additionally, Alexander picks up Charlotte's gloves for her in the most romantic scene in the trailer. Another video could focus on how they look at each other, even in such a brief moment. Let's just say that scenes like this make us happy. The trailer comes to a close without revealing any additional information about the episode. However, as we mentioned earlier, PBS also made a video that shows the entire scene. The longer version of the conversation that Charlotte and Georgiana had about her case is shown in this video. Tom appears to be attempting to hire Georgiana a lawyer, but he is unable to do so because every lawyer believes Georgiana will lose the case. They discuss the possibility that Lockhart is concealing some evidence that he intends to reveal in court. As a result, Georgiana is afraid that she will lose her status and the chance to locate her mother. She can look for her mother with the help of her money and status, but if she loses everything, she can't get help. Leo enters at that point to see Charlotte. She is overjoyed and believes Charlotte will remain in Sanditon for good. Naturally, Augusta and Alexander also enter, and Alexander apologizes to Leo for his intrusion. He doesn't have to apologize on their behalf, according to Charlotte, who claims that she is always pleased to see the girls. Then I won't, Alexander responds. We are unable to comprehend Alexander's use of this line in that manner. Is he anticipating Charlotte's apology? Despite the fact that it was in part his fault, does he blame her for quitting her job? We'll check to see if this is true. That's all we know about Sanditon Season 3's second episode. When the episode is out, we'll see you again. Now is your chance to comment on the upcoming season. Did Episode 1 please you? What do you anticipate from Episode 2? Tell us below. Make sure to share and like this video. For more videos like this one, make sure to follow our channel. See you soon. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, 
subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.